Hi Sierra, I am going to go ahead and do a couple of um, tutorials in one video this time. So uh, the first one is you were asking about being able to change the order of the projects here. Um, that is really simple. So you just come down to projects and instead of clicking on the main one, come down here to where it says reorder on this sub menu. And it'll give you the full list here. And you can basically just drag things up or down in the list. It's that simple. So top to bottom is the order. Um, and uh, just like with everything else, just hit update when you're done. And then that will take effect on the front end of the site. Um, the next thing was the footer. So for that, you're going to come here to appearance. And you're going to come to um, widgets. And then right here, these footer widgets are what affect that. So different parts of it are in uh, different widgets. So right here, you can see here's the address. Um, there's code in some of this, but really just use your common sense and don't change any of the things that are in brackets. So here's your phone number. Just make sure to only change the phone number and not any of this stuff that's outside of it or styling it. So if you want to change the label, change that here. Um, fax number right here. Here's the other footer widget. Uh, that's controlling the NMLS and this other Oregon license ID. Uh, and then your third one down here. That one is the one that has the menu in it for the locations. I'm going to go ahead and add those. Um, but yeah, as we add menu items to the locations, it will update um, the menu right down here. Um, let's see. The another question was about the slideshow. So that's right here. Come all the way down to this slide slider revolution. We've only got one slideshow on the site. It's the home page slideshow. So you click right there on that. Here you can see the images that are in the slideshow. If you want to change the order of them, you can just hold and drag uh, to change the order. Um, if you want to change the overlay text, that's right here in what's called the static global layers. So you can click on that. Scroll down here and you'll see here is the it's the text for each one of those. So double click it, um, change the text. Um, I wouldn't suggest going too far with this. Um, you know, there are some rules that have been set up for responsiveness for this step to show up well on tablet and mobile. If you go adding, if you go making this any longer, it's not going to fit well. Um, but, you know, if, if you need to just change this, like you need to change the year or something, or you want to update this tagline down here, um, that's simple enough. Just Just double click it and it will come up and you edit the text right here in this little panel right here. Um, <clears throat> for updating the Excel file, um, that is pretty simple as well. Basically, you would just come here to your media library. You would add your new Excel file wherever it is. Um, I'm going to add something that's not what you guys need, but there it is. Open. Now, once you have it in there, it gives you this URL right here, and you can just copy this last part, everything after the URL. Copy. And then we'd go back to your page, uh, and in this case, what it would be the, would be the manage your reserve page. Come here. Here's the button for the, Oh wait, is this it? Manage your reserve. So I don't know if it's the draw request form or the sample line item budget, whichever it is that you need to replace. You can see the buttons are right here. So you just come in to edit that. And then right here where it says select URL, you can see where it's got the link, which is just everything after the .com. So you would just hit that select and you would wipe this out and you'd put in the new the new link and that would change where the button's going to go to. Uh, 
Another thing uh, I remember that Austin mentioned was that uh, you guys were having problems, probably because this was set to something low, like 20, um, which was making it so that there were multiple pages of lists of pages, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, and so what you'll want to do is you can just come right up here to screen options, makes it way easier to find stuff. You can bump this up to something much higher. And then instead of having pages, it'll show all however many pages you've got on one list here, which makes it a lot easier to look through everything.